Tuna Amobi of CFRA Research is keeping his buy on Disney, and he's here to tell us why. And Tuna, you say there's only one thing that matters to the di bottom line right now. What is it? You know, Kelly, good afternoon. You know, I think really um, when you think about, you know, Disney's exposure to uh, the COVID-19, uh, there is no question that uh, the theme parks continue to uh, be by far the uh, greatest attention. Uh, but having said that, I think the film studio, obviously, with all the high profile titles, uh, the uh, delay um, of Newland and Star Wars um, and Avatar, I think there's a lot to be said. Uh, Kelly, about the fluidity of the uh, situation, not just for Disney Studios, but across, you know, Hollywood in terms of the uh, potential domino effect uh, of this pandemic on, on the film uh, schedule. Um, you know, uh, Mulan uh, was actually expected to uh, salvage what has been um, a virtually lost uh, summer blockbuster season. So this kind of delay, coupled with Warner Brothers pushing back on Tenet, um, has really cast a lot of doubt and uncertainties uh, so you have a kind of a chicken and egg situation here between the Hollywood studios and the theaters waiting for each other as to uh, figuring out when's the best time to get the audiences back to the theaters right. in a very safe right. manner. So why are you so constructive on Disney? Um, you know, I think uh, we're kind of looking on the other side, right? So when you look across the media landscape, uh, a lot of things we consider, the balance sheet, um, actually the uh, indications of the gradual reopening that we're starting to see. Uh, the uh, idea that uh, there's a huge pen of demand uh, from consumers uh, itching to go back to the theme parks, and you've got, you know, some of the major college sports gradually returning, which uh, clearly will be uh, a boon for uh, for ESPN. Of course, Disney streaming, uh, Disney Plus uh, is uh, has been uh, one of the main beneficiaries in all of this. So we continue to uh, uh, look at Disney from a kind of a longer-term winner uh, when all the dust settles. Uh, so you're looking at Disney Plus. What about the return of sports? I mean, you know, again, it's easy to look through to the other side. Um, are you prepared to wait as long as that might take? Well, you know, I think uh, indications are that, you know, there's uh, signs of uh, resumption as we see uh, some of the other uh, sports now, whether it's Major League Soccer, NHL, of course, the baseball that just restarted. But the big kahuna is going to be the NFL season. Uh, kickoff uh, slated for September 10. That's one that uh, we're closely watching. That's by far the greatest impact in terms of audience as well as advertising. So uh, Disney's huge exposure, ESPN Monday Night Football. Of course, we saw the NFL draft last April um, skyrocketing virtual ratings uh, for, uh, for ABC. Uh, all in all, I think there is really some key pieces of the puzzle uh, when sports ultimately returns that makes us to believe uh, that Disney is going to be uh, just as well positioned as any other to uh, ride uh, the, um, you know, the return of sports. Tuna, how long, if ever, before Disney returns to the level of profitability it had before this? We don't really know uh, about people's uh, in willingness to go back to the theme parks or willingness to sit in a theater uh, at what levels of capacity and, and therefore at what levels of revenue. So, Tyler, we actually, you know, have Disney um, losing about a billion dollars, you know, this qu quarter for the June quarter operating income, after which uh, we see them gradually rebounding. Um, next year, we think um, they'll uh, rebound. But in terms of return to the, you know, normalized level of 16 to uh, 15 to 16 billion or more operating income, uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, but I think uh, the silver lining in all of this, Tyler, is that we're gradually uh, seeing, you know, signs of uh, return to semblance to normalcy. The Hollywood studios are starting to gradually reopen their productions. Uh, there's theme parks gradually reopening, albeit amid the resurgence of COVID-19 cases. Uh, so as long as mm -hmm. we kind of see sequential quarterly um, directional improvement, which is what we see uh, going into uh, the fourth quarter and into next year, I think that gives us some comfort that uh, at least they're moving in the right, right. direction.